Good morning. You are listening to Good Morning Bitcoin. Uh, hopefully your week is going great. Thursday, September 10th is the date today. We are one day closer to Friday, one day closer to the weekend and party time. As always, joined with my man, man of few words, but a lot of advice, a lot of quality advice. Try. Standing six foot ten. 450 wow. pounds, solid Jesus. 2% body fat. That part's true. Uh, what's up? Morning. What's up? What's up? What's going on? Nothing. Uh, we've living got kind of a coffee life, man. Living that coffee life. I'm actually four cups deep right at the moment, but doing my thing. You know? Yeah. But um, I, I think we should start out first, LD. And let everyone know we've got a big surprise next week for everybody. We do. They're so not going to know what's coming. No, they're going to have no idea. We're about a month into this, if I'm not mistaken. Two weeks. A few weeks. <laughs> this is our third week. This is our third week. So next yeah. week will be the completion of our month. Yeah. So, geez, we're already dishing out surprises, and we aren't even a month into this. How we roll, man. It's how we roll. It's we what care about we, the people. It's what we do. So, uh, I've got some big news with Sushi Swap. We'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, that. And then um, LD had a fantastic call yesterday morning to me, and we played it, I mean, damn near to perfection. Worked out. It worked out well for us. So that was our big trade of the day yesterday. We're going to talk about that a little later. But like I just said first, a little bit ago, uh, this sushi swap. Um, gosh, I don't even know what word I'm looking for here. Uh, other than they just withdrew $830 million of liquidity from Uniswap yeah. yesterday. They migrating. They migrated. Uniswap. There we go. Migrated. Okay. That's a polite so, word. <laughs> yeah, I knew I knew it was somewhere, but you know, I've I've probably killed the fair share of my brain cells in my in my life. All right. So sometimes I'm a little slow, but that's okay. You're from so Iowa. They, I'm from I'm a big <laughs> dumb idiot from Iowa. Never forget. So um they pulled that from Uniswap. Big deal. Remember the Uniswap dev um, sold 13 million the other day, and then ha in turn he handed over, you know, essentially for common words, he handed over the keys to the car to Sam with FTX. Correct. Yeah. So in turn, Sam was transferring that liquidity out, and that's where that's where we are. So the, so the main core. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to ask what, what that means for Uniswap, really. Like, what's the yeah. effect, and do we know? Yeah, so my opinion is, you know, they were running with three three to $350 million in liquidity before Sushi Swap did their thing. And they were fine. I mean, honestly, I thought it was fine. Uh, I didn't notice any liquidity issues on non-rug pulls and, you know, solid projects. Mm -hmm. So... I, you know, I don't think, obviously, aside from the fact that it's going to hurt revenue, um, I, I don't think it's really going to affect them as, you know, from a technical aspect. Yeah. Financially, yeah, I think it's going to. Not that they haven't made it just an ass ton of money. Right. Um, but, you know, there's there's some people that don't even think they really lost anything. They won't lose anything. So, are we going to be able to use Sushi Swap like we currently use uh, Uniswap? That's a good idea or a good question. No I idea. really don't know. I haven't kept up in that sense. I don't know what the plan is. I, I just have a hard time going to something called Sushi Swap. Right. So, like automatically, I'm, I'm probably not going to use it for I'm a, that purpose. Yeah, me too. I'm a big, a firm believer. And this just could be because I'm approaching, I'm pre-boomer age. I'm approaching pre-boomer age. I'm a big believer in using something that I am proud to say out loud. 
Sure. Like if I'm saying, you know, someone's like, Hey Dale, how'd you, you know, five years down the road. Hey Dale, how'd you make all your money? Oh, you see, I was trading Bitcoin on titty swap. And so, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, there's a level of professionalism that you want to have with these conversations about what we do with cryptocurrencies, right? Because everybody already has a kind of, if they've heard of Bitcoin, they already probably have a, uh, a preconceived, notion. Yeah, preconceived notion of what that means. And it just, it's going to make it worse if you have to say something like titty swap yep. or even sushi swap. Um, and even the concept of farming, while it, it makes sense, like to, to be able to talk about it with normal people who aren't in the scene. Um, I don't know. It's yeah. kinda, it, it feels a little silly. I've tried to have the conversation with other people. It feels silly. Yeah. And I, I just, I totally echo everything you're saying. Um, you know, if I have a child when I'm older and, you know, let's just say, you know, I've, I can, do, I do well in the crypto space and they're going to ask me, Hey, how did you, you know, when they're older and realize, how did you make ends meet when, you know, aside from your job or whatever the case may be. And I could all, you could always lie, but I'm not a firm believer in lying. Um, I mean, you know, oh, I traded, I traded Titcoin on Sushi Swap, or you know something like that. So that's just you don't want to have to do that. I don't want to. Some don't yeah. care, or some are just so naive now that they don't think they'll care, and maybe yeah. they don't. I don't know. Yeah, and I mean, we don't really know how things will evolve, and maybe it'll feel normal to have that type of conversation down the road. But right now. I feel not, silly every time yeah. I talk about it with regular people. Not a bridge I want to cross. No, not at all. So a couple weeks ago, or I mean, it feels like a couple weeks. It was last week, I think. Uh, you might remember us talking about sci-fi. S-Y-F-I. Oh, yeah. And how that person exploited... Uh, the rebase and geez, mm -hmm. that might even have been this week. Yeah. Maybe it he was just bad. came forward. He just came forward to talk to talk about it, but it happened last week sometime. Yep, you're right. Sorry. They all blend together anymore. I know at this point they do. So they, the sci-fi team came out with a wallet list today on, um, they're going to airdrop tokens, the two people that were holding the one block before the rebase happened. And then if you were hold, still holding and didn't sell, um, I don't remember the exact number of blocks after, but they did another snapshot. And if you were still holding some and didn't sell, they were going to airdrop you those too. Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't did, know that. Part. So when you went on the Excel sheet that was in their Discord. Yeah. Did you see a number... There should have been two, you know, your wallet address and then two more columns after that. Yeah. Was there numbers in both columns or just one? Just one. So then you must have sold. I didn't sell. Okay. I still have my tokens. Huh. I, I don't know then. I'll go back and take a look and see what I've missed. Yeah. But Do. I still have those tokens in my wallet. Okay. Well, they were going to airdrop a certain percentage of them, I think, or all of them. Okay. I don't remember. But, you know, we, you and I talked about this after it had happened, and I was screaming scam. And yeah. you being the thinker and uh, down-to-earth logical thinker that you are, LD, you talked me out of it. So this just solidifies that I do not think it's a scam. Because these people are – so either they're really brilliant and going to pull a, the double whammy, scammy, right. Right. and I do it again. Done. And I don't think that's the case. But, I really don't. I don't know why someone – I don't know why you would do that if they – I mean, it, it's not a scam, right? No, like we, right. we now know this person who timed the rebase. So unless they're somehow in on it with the sci-fi team, which is I don't possible. think they are. It's sure, possible. sure, it's possible. But now they're going to great lengths to duplicate the same thing, and they already have a lot of money. I, I tend to think that they would move on. Yeah, me too. Not do it again, at least in the same vein. Good.
Yeah, I think so too. And, you know, we, you and I were talking, um, we were wondering whether this is going to pump upon airdrop or mm-hmm. dump. Yeah. And I think we're kind of, and this is fine. I think we're on both the opposite sides of the aisle here. On mm-hmm. this. I personally think it's going to dump because I think people are afraid of a rebase error occurring. Mm-hmm. And so once they get these, they just want to wash their hands completely and walk away. Yeah. Very well could be that. the case. Yeah. I, I you totally know, get it. We don't know, obviously. Mm-hmm. But you are on the other side of the aisle. Yeah. Um, although I totally see what you're saying, and I think it's equally as possible, if not more so. I think that it sort of makes more sense for all the token, for everybody to dump. Yeah. However, this team has put a lot of effort into the project to begin with and then when it failed to make it right and i think that if it's in their power to do something to prohibit or to entice people to not dump on reception of those of the airdrop i think they're going to do it i think they need to feel some love i don't think that they're just going to airdrop these tokens and move on. I think they want to see this project thrive and be what they intended it to be to begin with. Um, So I think that if, if they have the power to do it, I think that they will uh, try to get it to pump a little bit and make people stick around to not immediately dump. Um, I might end up dumping (laughs) after a few Uh, minutes. You're not going to tell. Uh, I'm just going to take a look and, and scope the scene and see how it feels and what I'm seeing in their discord and the telegram channels and make my decision then. But I do not plan to initially dump my airdrop as soon as possible. That's not my plan. Yeah, I don't think so either. Uh, first I was going to, but I'm going to kind of agree with you that I think, I think it's going to, I do think it's going to pump. And I, I hope that should. I, I hope that I can get out on a pump. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, wouldn't that be nice for everyone, for for the team included, if they were able to airdrop these tokens, provide a little bit of a pump so that people can walk away with some extra funds if they want. I think they're going to try to make that happen if they can. I do too. I think it's going to take more funds on their part to, to make that happen. Which is fine. They can pump my bags. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, and that's what I mean when I say if they have the power to do it, if they have the funds to do it, I think that they will. I think you're right too. We'll see. But. Because okay. I invested will. more than I should have. <laughs> uh, I did a fair amount also. So we'll see. We'll see. But. Speaking of fair amount, let's talk about, so this morning, not this morning, yesterday morning, you did message me this morning about another coin, but this was yesterday's coin. Yesterday's coin that LD messaged me about was STBU. Dough box. Sure. And he, he says, hey, I think I'm going to buy this. Check it out. As he normally does. And, you know, I want everyone to know and this is, I'm going off the beaten path here, but I am a firm believer in sharing your shills and that's where it ends. If LD tells me to buy butt dark coin and I buy it and it's a rug pull, that's on me. That's not on LD because he's not over here pressing the swap button. Okay. I just want that known. Yeah. You can't- I also try not to tell people to buy it or to talk about it. I try to say, to provide a link and say, check it this out. might be worth you taking a look at. Yep, and that's exactly you can make what you decision. said. Yeah. So I don't and want I anybody can. coming back at me and saying, you know, you, you promoted this, you've told me it was a good idea. I never want to mm-hmm. say that to anyone in this space. <laughs> right. No. And again, even I'll even go as far as being on Twitter and people say, bought a bag of this. That doesn't mean you run out and buy a bag of this. Right. In fact, you shouldn't. Yeah. You should do your due diligence. Yeah. So anyways, so LD said that to me. I checked it out. I thought this is a buy for me also. I threw a little bit of Ethereum at it. Not much just because I'm a little sketch on stuff. I'm gun shy. So he told me about it. I tried to buy it. Transaction failed. 
goes up in price. It was like 2.6 cents at the time. Goes up to 3.5 cents. Tried to buy it again. Transaction failed. Um, I didn't find out that the transaction failed until I got to work. Ooh. And and then, which was fine. It was totally fine because it was even down lower oh, cool. than the price that I originally tried to buy it. That's good news. Doesn't happen like that often. No. <laughs> and I am really glad it did in this case. Yeah. So I got in like 2.4 cents, two and a half cents, something like that. So we're just LD and I, what did you get in? Do you mind saying, or do you not want to? I got in at 0.01. Damn. Yeah. That's hot. And I did pretty well with this one. So and I still have a bag. I do too. I do too. As of this morning, I, I still have a moon bag. So this thing, you know, I just was kind of glancing at it. it was busy at work. Just kind of would pop up the chart, look at it. And all of a sudden I message LD. I'm like, yo, this is at seven cents. That's a three X for me. And I was like, awesome. And he's like, right on. And then next thing I know, I say, Hey LD, it's at 10 cents. And I said, you selling? And he, I think you're like, no, not yet. So then we're sitting here and we're going back and forth. And then the next thing you know, I'm like, yo, this is at 24 cents. And so I, I took out what I had put in and then mm -hmm. I let it ride. And then it ended up going, I had sold some more at like, tried, tried to sell everything at 75 cents, it failed. Then I um, upped the gas, sold some at 55 cents. And then later it pumped all the way to a dollar 14. Yeah, crazy. And I tried to sell everything I had and I wasn't even watching the price at the time. I just pulled up Uniswap and it was still on my swap page, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and I saw, and I'm like, I saw how many Ethereum it was. I'm like, Whoa, got to get out, but it didn't work. And that's fine. Cause it's going to, I think I agree with you. It's going to make a pump. I think. Yeah. You're going to get another chance. I can tell by the way the team talks in the telegram channel that it's been a, in the works for a while. This project's yep. been in the works for a while. I get yep. the sense that they care about what they're doing. And uh, I don't think that they're looking to uh, just pump and dump the entire thing. So yeah, it's going a little more slowly than some of the other stuff that rolls out on Uniswap, but I think- But it's, it's okay. Uh, it's going yeah. okay. Yep. And then our other baby sure. is Cream. Cream. Yeah. It's been doing, you're still in it. I'm still in it. There's a bit of a sell off today, and I wish that I had uh, didn't taken know it either. Of that. Yeah. Apparently, there are some rewards, or people unlocked their tokens perhaps and and sold because they were finally unlocked and the price was so high. Yep. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I missed that memo. <laughs> yeah, me <laughs> and too. I didn't. I didn't get to sell any, and I wish I, that I could have. Had I known then what I do now, I would have sold pre reward distribution. And yeah, then bought same. back lower again. Right. Because I'm still pretty bullish on this. I think I am too. It's going it's to going. a thousand, right? <laughs> Ledger says 700. All right. I'll take that from Ledger. I would, I would accept that, Ledger. Yeah. He's issuing refunds to us if it doesn't. That's right. We have so, that relationship. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Not everyone else gets that pleasure. Limited to friends and family. That's a friends and family discount. Oh, 700. That's a nice number though. It's, it's really not what I had in mind. I was thinking a little lower, so I'm going to go with that and get I'd the be hopium down. flowing. I'd be down. All right. So, so while we've been on the topics of laws and news and stuff like that, LD, it pains me. I hope you don't get mad at this, but we're going to read some funny Florida news headlines. Oh boy. Are these about the Florida man? Are these Florida man headlines? I don't know. These are just uh, funny Florida. Not all of them. Most of them are Florida man, but not all. Okay. Let's go. I've, Florida I've a lot man of them. charged after asking deputies to test the quality of his meth. Supposedly they put out a thing that says, are you a meth dealer? We can help you out. Just call blah, blah, blah. And we'll gladly test your meth out before you start selling it. And this dude took the bait. Oh boy. That's an idiot. Florida man breaks into home, steals alcohol, falls asleep on couch. Oh, I, I've heard that type of story before. I think that applies to people from all kinds of states. Yeah, that definitely does. This yeah. one, I don't know. Florida man hid legless fugitive girlfriend in a plastic tote. 
<laughs> oh man, I would have liked to have seen that. <laughs> yeah, this one too could could play into effect in a lot of states. Florida man reportedly attempts to rob convenience store armed with a finger. Oh yeah, that's got to be common. Florida man breaks into stranger's garage, proceeds to make coffee. In the garage. He's got a coffee maker in the garage. Is that Look normal? At that. I no, don't know what's more strange. So. It's just strange all around. Yeah. Florida woman passes gas, pulls knife on offended man. I believe that 100%. Mm-hmm. That is mm-hmm. definitely a Florida person story, without a doubt. Yeah, probably in the neighborhood I live in. <laughs> <laughs> Florida store owner assaulted man who tried to warm urine up in his microwave. That's disgusting. I believe it though. Absolutely would happen. That's crazy. I'm, I'm wondering if you're going to read the headline of the Florida man that I actually know in real life. So keep them coming. Well, I was going to, just to make you feel better, I was going to read a couple crazy Iowa news Okay. Headlines. Yeah, let's hear it. Brothers arrested in fight over peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And it's, it's classic. Yeah. And I had a similar fight, but as mm-hmm. children. Mm-hmm. But you didn't get arrested. Okay, you ready for this not, one? Not that time. Yeah. Suspect in Iowa City ice cream store theft. Guess what his name was? Connor P. Fudge. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Fitting. All right, let's hear your Florida man news. What so you know? I, yeah, I, I know this guy, and you can uh, you can look up the story online. It's I forget the website that it's on, but um, the story actually got reported on by a professional journalist for some kind of online magazine, and and turned it into a, a lengthy article. So this guy um, got his nuts caught in a crossbow. <laughs> like he uh. pulled the crossbow back, prepared to fire it, and got his nuts caught. Why? And um, yeah, oh. look it up. Look it up for the full story. It's painful enough just to think mm. about. You know, that makes me think of that picture of that guy that zipped his nuts Ooh, up in uh-uh. his zipper. I don't want to hear it. I've got enough on my mind. With, uh, with that, I think it's a good note to end on. Remember, sure. stay tuned. We've got big announcement coming out next week. You're not going to want to miss it. Uh, we're announcing an announcement. Yes, we're that, those people. So, we th- again, as always, appreciate you guys listening to Good Morning Bitcoin. Uh, without you listening, this even wouldn't this would not be a thing. So if you could please subscribe, like us, give us a review, follow us on Twitter, GM underscore Bitcoin. What are we not eating for breakfast? No beans for breakfast. No beans for breakfast. Tip that waitress. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. We'll see you.